Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Master Detective Archives Rain Code, aka the best game ever. I am having a blast as we have just solved our first case. The murder mystery of the Amaterasu massacre has been solved. And yeah, in doing so, we also killed the culprit. Like, that's. Shinigami's powers kind of suck, yo. I'm not gonna lie. But if you're enjoying the series, make sure to leave a like. More videos coming soon. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any. Now let's get to Kanai Ward. I, I've been excited about this place. I mean, the whole game so far has just been making it here. And, you know, that could be a criticism to some. But, you know, it, it built the tension. And now here comes the payoff. But before that... Hi there, thanks for saving me, very tall gentleman. Actually, I, I think you're average and I'm just the- Well... I'll save it. I bet that was quite a long trip for you. Welcome to Kanai Ward. Yo, I feel welcome. Thanks a bunch. Thanks. Yeah. It must be Yuma. Yuma Coco Head, right? So you've heard of me. I am. And you are? I'm Yako Furio. That's going to be hard to say. Yako? That sounds like a cartoon character's name. Yako? Is that a real Japanese dude's name? I, f I feel bad. But, alright. What's happening? I was born and raised in Kanai Ward. Just a humble member of the WDO. I'm the director of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. The only detective agency in Kanai Ward. Whoa, so you're like a bigwig. Dang, bro, how did you survive out here if... You know, Amaterasu really doesn't want you here. My office welcomes you. Nice to make your acquaintance. Uh, thanks. The pleasure is all mine. Hmm? So he's a detective from the WDO. Finally, I've met an ally. Hmm. He could be a fibber. He managed to turn away the peacekeepers, so he must be in high standing. Nah, yeah, yeah. Ah, damn, I'm sorry. I mean, we've been betrayed once, but... He's probably a nice guy. If he did go out of his way to save our bacon like that. Really? He's clearly just some careless, uh, middle-aged man. Whoa, 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 middle-aged? He, he's, you know... By the way, don't tell anyone about yours truly. You might have forgotten, but our secret is included in the contract. Oh my god, what else is in that contract? It'd be terrible if you broke this rule. To be exact, your whole body would be drained of its blood. Oh. Okay, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> well, even if you did, they'd just assume you're some crazy person. Some crazy person missing a lot of blood. <laughs> now, shall we? Oh, by the way, I like to hear the details about this incident. Yeah, you, you got it. Uh, right. Uh, he's not gonna pull. I mean, that's such a pain. I'm not gonna lie though. I, I really, we don't have a motive for the killer. That is, that is effing gorgeous. Look at this place. Like, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It took a while to get through all the proceedings. They practically interrogated you, right? <laughs> Kanai Ward is completely shut off from the outside world. Communication devices such as cell phones are confiscated. Cameras are not permitted to leave Kanai Ward either. What? Even if you smuggle something with reception in, Kanai Ward is a dead zone. So no wireless transmission. That's crazy. That's so backwards. Thanks to all that tight closure, nobody's using this fancy station at all. Did you say no one? So we're the only person that came in. You show a lot of promise, considering how you handled that Amaterasu trouble. I was scared, to be honest. <laughs> I don't want to deal with them if I don't have to. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be my, like, you know, superior? Uh, the thing is, the peacekeepers always antagonize detectives. As a basic rule, never look them in the eye. They're always itching for a fight. <laughs> kind of like mad dogs. <laughs> right. Uh, right. Boy, if you don't stop copying me! Amaterasu Corp doesn't want the unified oh, government or the WDO meddling in their matters. I even caught wind of them hiring a hitman. A uh, hitman? I guess that's what Zilch Alexander was. They plan to wipe out any master detectives before they enter Kanai Ward. Oh my god, and you knew about this? The result of which is this Amaterasu Express Massacre. I mean, even if he did know, there's no way to tell the WDO, I guess. Well, <laughs> he could try a carrier pigeon, I guess. So Zilch was actually a hitman? Nope. There was a real master detective named Zilch. 
He was murdered beforehand and used as a disguise. Uh, what? You were in the first car earlier. The real Zilch is laying dead somewhere in there. Oh my god, you're kidding. There was a separate first car at the station before you arrived where Zilch's body was hidden. Oh my god, so there really was a corpse in every single... Jeez. Then, the four train cars that you rode in would arrive at the station in Kanai Ward and connect with the fake first car. That makes a total of five dead master detectives at Kanai Ward's platform. With a sole survivor. Dude. With no master detectives left, you would be arrested as the only culprit. That was the plan. They still have to worry about the dead master detective at, you know, the other station, though. What about him? They would go to such lengths? Absolutely. Even though the plan didn't work, we still lost five master detectives. Yeah, they're at a huge gain. We're at a huge loss. Given the situation, I'm honestly surprised you survived, Yuma. Well, I had a little bit of help. That's all thanks to me. Mm. You're so lucky to be haunted by yours truly. Wait, if there was a real Zilch, then the number of people on board the Amaterasu Express, including me, that makes six people. The numbers still don't add up. What do you mean? They could just forge another ticket, right? I, Hoochie. Heard from the what? World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was precisely five. Yeah, so they w seven tickets were still issued. Unless he snuck on. Oh, I'll explain that later. Oh, okay. Well, sure. Anyway, let's leave this place. Wouldn't want to give the peacekeepers any ideas. Yeah, we're just like yabbing. Yeah, the peacekeepers hired a hit, man. We knew all about it. They sucked, though. So, you f <laughs> you're free to go. Kind of rubbing salt in the wound, but uh, man, this sure is intimidating. And here we are. Ever since I learned about what rain code would be, this tech city that never rains, I was so excited to visit. You know, you can't have a mystery noir without rain. But why does it never stop raining? That's so weird. Come on, you've seen rain before. Get over here. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Who is Yuma, man? And why? I mean, Amaterasu Corporation's motivations seem pretty clear. Whatever they're doing here, they want to keep a secret. And I don't think it's just your average, everyday monopoly over, you know, their city. It's just so spooky. Hey, back in the train. What? Train station. Somebody else coming? Hmm. Looks like it. Oh, gosh. Maybe this is the... Oh. Whoa! Who? Who the dumb? Who's that guy? Uh, is it Mickey it's Mouse? Me. <laughs> they do not care. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That is a perfect way to end a chapter. I gotta keep playing, bro. I see, I see. Uh-oh, I'm gonna get graded. Uh, I did Are not, not play well. This? I'm the first to say that. I mean, I, you know, I intentionally failed. The Attack on Titan part, for comedy's sake. Hey, no, we didn't do bad. Hey, I'll take that. Shoot. Also, I never use, use like, any of my talents or anything. So I gotta remember to do that, but... But now that I know we're getting graded, all right. Next case. I'ma crack it. Whoa, a prologue. Huh? We're still not on chapter one. Dude, what is that? They're breaking up the flow. We're doing different stuff. Okay, okay. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I love the colors, man. I... Oh, look at that. Isn't that a little familiar? But... Uh, I guess this is his hideout? Oh, we got our hat. Let's go. <laughs> you look so cute over here. Just shut up. You're embarrassing me, Shinigami. There's a place I want to show you. It's the best spot to learn about this town. Our local library? Hey, relax. Don't be so nervous. But the librarians sure. are so scary. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Hmm. Well, it's somewhere high up. Hopefully we get to meet some other master detectives. Come on, got, this way. He's got some friends, right? Maybe, maybe not. What are you looking at me for? 
Can she, like, remove herself from us? Like, I feel like she's like our stand. She has to be really close by. Oh. It's just this rooftop. Darn it. I thought he'd have a secret base or something. Wow. So I'm a little emotional right now. Listen. It's never, you know, fun to come out and say, I'm a Danganronpa fan! This is my favorite franchise! Because, like, the games are a little goofy, and there's definitely some sus stuff in them. But, dog, like, specifically... <sighs> the, the trilogy, because I haven't played all the games. They just mean so much to me, and to see that the studio responsible, they've evolved to this, bro. Remember when V3 came out, and it's just like, okay, flat images and stuff, and we're... And we're here, actual level design, a cityscape that looks unique. And it's just so, oh, oh. I'm nerding out. I'll just say that. I'm just, uh, regardless of how well the game does, they had a vision and they got executed. And I think that's awesome. What a huge city. Maybe it's because of the rain, but it's a little eerie. Yeah. Every time I'm in a big city or something, it's, I got like a creepy vibe. Like, I don't know, like. There's so many people here, and it's so big. Like, anything can happen. And that's usually uh, not a good thing, because some people are unpredictable and dangerous. But, you know, we got a buddy! Yako! Or Wacko! What was your name? <sighs> I love the view of the city from here. Oh, it was Dot. That's his name. No, no. It's like we're always right at the brink of dawn. Although, thanks to them... The real dawn will never rise here. Are they creating these storm clouds? Or is that metaphorical? Hmm. You mean Amaterasu Corporation? Kanai Ward is isolated and out of the UG's reach. Now, Amaterasu is the de facto master of the city. None who wish to live in peace dare defy them. As long as you know your place, life can be pretty good here. Open an umbrella, and the rain won't touch you. Wear a raincoat, and you can even take a girl cycling. You know what I mean, right? Uh, is that a date? What? Kinda. I, I, I usually go to the library. I don't... A while back, our detective agency used this building. But we were kicked out due to a contract dispute. The owner claimed renting the building out to detectives made the place unpopular. Mm hmm In Kanai Ward, detectives aren't even allowed to have their own offices. Really? I don't know what the WDO is thinking, but I don't want this town to change. What? It should stay the way it is. It deserves some peace and quiet. Someone's awfully complacent. Yako, I... <sighs> A lot of bad stuff is going down. You don't want it to change at all. That's why this time around, I don't want any trouble. It's not easy to negotiate with these people. And so you're not even going to try? Um, I heard that Kanai Ward has a lot of unsolved mysteries. Screams are part of the daily noise around here. They're kind of like church bells marking sunset. Dude, no. These are people that need our help. You need to snap out of your little dream facade and just realize you need to do your job. I'm I'm actually kind of mad. I <laughs> Whenever someone's smiling in that building, someone else in town is weeping. However, we can't go punching the guy who's smiling. Yeah, he's got a point. If it was just that easy, someone would have already done it. We can only offer a handkerchief to those in tears before quietly slipping away. Nothing more is needed anyway. We're not superheroes or anything. Dang. Maybe... I think it's just because he's older. Yeah, he's... He's thought that way before and realized nothing ever gets done because of this giant monopoly. <laughs> Even if we are the new kid in town with death god powers! It's... Yeah, still a giant conglomerate. We're... Just detectives. Oh, come on, man. You know detectives can- they can change the world! Just detectives, he says. But he has the resigned smile of someone who's given up. I had him all wrong. Oh my god. That look tells me exactly the kind of place Kanai Ward is. 
in a way words couldn't begin to describe. It's a bleak, doomed place. Dude. But he doesn't have to stay that way. This glass head dude comes off like an irresponsible geezer. But there's an ominous aura around him. You only end up like that if you've seen death all the time. Could it be because of this city? Maybe. Or maybe it's his old man stench. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, and here I thought you were empathizing. <laughs> huh? Something wrong? Is there something on my gorgeous face? <laughs> uh, I'm not answering that. Back in the day, I was rather popular with the ladies. <laughs> you may think that means I'm no longer so popular. Well, you did use past tense, so I kind of assumed. Uh... And you'd be <laughs> right. It's okay, man. <laughs> Look at his little smile. <laughs> oh, dog. Man. Hopefully, Yako, you can, you know, once we beat those Amaterasu baddies, you can smile goofily again someday. The rain, it never stops. Does it rain often here? Oh, this stuff? Fatalists would tell you that all rain must come to a stop. But for the past few years, the rain in our town hasn't stopped falling. So there was a point where it did. You know. Stop. For years? Yeah, years. It started around, oh, three years ago? Weird, huh? Thanks to that, we have no need for weather forecasts. A city where it's always raining. No wonder things are so dark and damp here. The rain sure has changed things around here. Both the city and the people, too. Supposedly, there's something in the rain that messes with our bodies and the environment. But it's all hearsay. Do you think maybe this is a plot for Amaterasu to just sell umbrellas? And you know... After like a year and a half, the battery starts like draining faster and faster. And it's like, oh, you gotta get the new umbrella! <laughs> this one's even more expensive. I see what they're playing at. But no, that is a huge feat to create multiple year-long rain. No one knows why the rain never lets up. But it probably has something to do with Amaterasu. I feel like, yeah, that's safe to say. Kanai Ward. It's such a bizarre place. <laughs> bizarre, huh? Uh, you're not gonna make it here if you find this shocking. <laughs> it's never-ending rain, come on. <laughs> You'll be seeing a lot of strange things in this city, I'll tell you that much. But there's no need to overcomplicate things. Everything is just an illusion in the rain. Just think of it that way, and you'll be fine. I... yeah, I... I don't think I'll ever think like that. Trust me, it's easier this way. To live in a... <clears throat> Who can say? Is it? Uh, uh, man, the experience gap between these two is crazy. Well, now that I've finished showing you the town, let's head to the agency. Yeah, let's get the crud out of here. I do like the smell of rain, though. I don't like how it interrupts my recording. place. There's a lot more to it than I thought. I know, right? Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, it smells so good here! It's like there's a florist on every corner! Really? Really? Uh, I don't see any florists. Is the rain scented? I didn't mean it literally. To me, nothing smells sweeter than the stench of death! Oh, so it's like that. The stench of death? It's really that common? There are gruesome mysteries all over this place! It smells so lovely! Dog, what did we get ourselves into? That sounds so ominous. Dog, we're dead! Hey! The elevator's here! Yeah, sorry, I was just, uh... All right, coming! Talking to my imaginary girlfriend! <laughs> You're basically dating. She can never leave our side. Also, uh, she's annoying? No, that's not right. I should probably stop. <laughs> uh, kind of hope that's not the case, though. I hope Yuma finds someone like Poochie here and Shinigami gets jealous. Let's go down. Yes. Right. No need to be so nervous. Nothing dangerous here. Right here in this doorway. Everywhere else, possibly. I don't know everything. Yeah, all right. Let's get out of where to next, boss? This area is called Kamasaki District. 
It's the busiest and messiest place in all of Ganai Ward. In other words, it's a lively area. We're just doing the tour? Okay. The neon looks magical blurred in the rain. If there really is an illusion in the rain, I think it'd be the streetlights. I don't have any memories of this scenery, but it still makes me all nostalgic. Perhaps I'm from a city like this one. Or maybe if you formed my mind into a shape, it looked like this place. Wait, what? You lost me, Yuma. What, what, what? Bro, what are you talking about? Maybe that has some deeper meaning we haven't really gotten to yet. But yeah, I just... Man, I got chills. I know I said that in the in the train as well, but bro, it breaks my heart. How many how many people do you think don't finish the train mystery and make it hey, here? isn't it weird how it's not flooded, given how it's always raining here? I did think that, yeah. It looks like they have a good drainage system. See? There's a drain leading to a pipe over there. That kind of thing creeps me out. Just imagine what would happen if I got sucked in there. Oh, that'd be a tragedy. Hey, there's a clown in the sewer staring at you. Uh, uh, all right, Stephen uh, King. A clown. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Who is that? <sighs> Hi there, miss. I, I, I'm sorry, I won't stare. I explained briefly, but basically, Amaterasu Corp picks on detectives. So we chill in the sewers? My colleagues and hired assistants all quit. They said working here as a detective was simply impossible. Oh, sorry. So you've been working as the only detective for the whole city ever since? No. It's not like I could change careers. I'm a WDO detective, after all. Oh, you're sworn in for life? Clients trust me to do the job. Although, most of my requests involve infidelity or finding lost pets. Oh, that's not so bad. What about unsolved mysteries? The peacekeepers get to handle that. Detectives don't even get close. I'm sure they do oh, a great job. Interesting. But now, things could be different since you're all here. You're all? Huh? All? What are you talking about? Dude, please, please, let's get some backup. Let's make some friends. Oh, let's see some new master detectives. I can't wait, please. Yeah, we got a feeling things will be a bit stuffy moving forward. Yes, dude. Are you at maximum occupancy? Is that what's going on here? I love this feeling, man. Feels like the first day of school. Who's gonna be our buddy? Who's gonna be our foe? You know, like, you guys relate? I don't think it's... Oh. Um, is your agency up ahead? These almost look like apartments, what? Like I said earlier, detectives aren't allowed to work in a proper office at Conway. Ugh, must we travel this nauseating path? I'm too blue-blooded for this. Don't interrupt it. You, you have no blood. You're, like, undead. The other master detectives are already waiting at the agency. You're the last to join us. So it is like that. Other master detectives? But everyone on the train died. Thanks to that hitman hired by Amaterasu. The WDO anticipated interference. They prepared multiple routes for entry into Kanai War. Well, let's go. They covered their bases. How many do they need to send? Other master detectives arrive from routes besides the Amaterasu Express. Both official and unofficial members traveled through these various routes. I see. So it wasn't just the Amaterasu Express. Amaterasu Corporation caught on and tried to interfere on all the routes. Granted, they deny any involvement. Some routes were completely stamped out. Yours barely made it. Oh my god. That tragedy happened to others too. How this is evil. Excluding you, there are four others who survived. Unfortunately, a lot of sacrifices were made. Just to liberate one city? But as a result, you could say master detectives of the highest caliber have been gathered here. I... Uh... Each of you did outsmart Amaterasu and made it here after all. Really oh, she is the jealous type. Wow. Why? <laughs> Just a fact. The surviving master detectives are like so exciting, so mysterious. I know. Can we get there already? I'm going crazy. No, nah, it's fine. I actually like this sort of. I don't know. I'm not usually not a fan of, you know, following a guy like an escort mission, etc. But this ain't half bad. It's cozy. 
Well, I guess here we are, right on time. Well, let's see what we got. Here we are. Are they all Kappas or mermaids? What the freak? <laughs> they all get here with scoop. This is. This is trash. What? Um, where's the agency? <laughs> Did you trick it's me? Right here. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna, you know, take all off right. your mask and. Remember this, Yuma. The most important things cannot be seen by the eye. Like farts? I mean, it is important to discern who dealt its a submarine. Ha! Huh? Uh, uh. All right, yo, he's, he's you did well for yourself, man. I guess that is technically not an office. That is so cool. Yeah, it's going to be stuffy though. Jeez. Uh, uh. This is the agency. He's <laughs> just another day of the office, quite literally for him. He's just, oh, come on, get on. Welcome to the Nocturnal Detective Agency. What, you expected something a bit tidier? I guess I wouldn't call this place clean myself. Hey, it's fine, man. I don't mind. But isn't it awesome? <laughs> yeah. Our own submarine. <laughs> I'm still paying off the payments, but dude, I got a sub. Is this really it? Our office is a sub? Oh my god. Yo, recent events does not paint this in a good light. <laughs> oh, sh been to a sinking ship of a detective agency. Yeah. Anyone ever played Iron Lung? Uh, Jesus. Anyway, I'm sure nothing bad will happen to it. I mean, he did just like unveil it in the middle of the day? Is it even the middle of the day? I guess it's hard to tell. I guess that's all relative. Can you just show me the master detectives already? Oh my effing god. They're like, yep, yeah, you know, you're not the only one who made it here, big guy. I'm gonna spend 15 minutes teasing you until we show off the rest, but you know, it's a fact. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, the songs aren't totally, you know, there's not a lot of them so far, but they're all groovy. Good background noise. Oh. Well, hey there. Uh, nice glasses. What are you? What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> oh, here's the survivors. Jeez, not the. I don't know. They don't inspire me with confidence for some reason. I'm so judgmental. They they not even said a word. waiting, everyone. Our final new member has arrived at last. Watch it. Just come barging in here. Yeah, I imagine they're kind of jumpy. S sorry. Wait, this is my sub. What the? Uh, uh. What are you talking about? This is my but detective agency, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Victory is mine. Pay off. But hold on, that doesn't count. It was an accident thanks to the chief barging in here. What? Are you guys playing a game? Nonsense. You should have expected him to return from his errand. Moreover, you should have realized he was back when our submarine resurfaced. Oh yeah, true. Sh shouldn't you be able to tell that? I guess they're playing like a game who can shut up the longest? Yeah. And when you put it like that... With my logic, anything is possible. Um, what are they fighting about? Hey, what are you doing with those matches? No fire is allowed on my sub. You're literally smoking! It's just a little game. He strikes the matches one by one. He wins if he lights ten in a row. But if he fails even once, I win. That is such a rigged game. Why would you- And he failed. Uh -oh. Thus, I get all the cash. That's not too surprising. Dude, she's scamming a ca- I, I don't know if it's a girl or not, but- Hang on, it was lit. The chief opened the door, which blew it out. I succeeded in lighting it, so the game continues. Uh, next is the seventh, right? This is so odd. Hey, ref, how many matches was it? Uh, you can check by counting the number of chocolates on the table. Sure thing. Uh, one. Cool. What? Uh, Three. Such a sweet voice, but I think she's also eating sweets, which is the issue. <laughs> Don't eat those. We're using them to count. 
many are we missing now? Two or three? Come on, princess. How many did you eat? Be honest. <laughs> this kid. Uh, two or three. Uh, what comes after three? Uh... I never remember since I so rarely count that high. What? Please give me just a moment to recall it. Whoa, uh... <sighs> it's all ruined. This is so... And, yo, big guy's just chilling over there in the... <laughs> Why do you- if there's no fire on the sub, why do you even have a fireplace for him to hide in? Um, why don't you count the number of matchsticks you've used instead? Oh, right! Uh, I'll just count the matchsticks in the ashtray. Why the hell are there so many? Didn't you say no open flames are allowed in here? <laughs> it's harder to quit than you think. <laughs> Jeez. Aha! Uh -huh. I remember! The number four comes after three. So, so the answer is four. So proud of you, golly. She is adorable, though. Wow. Uh -huh. But there is still a chocolate missing. Because you... Hang on. There were more than four to begin with. Did you eat another one? I guess she's very forgetful. <laughs> You're eating it right now. <laughs> oh, I am. <laughs> it's too delicious. So this is what commoners eat. Interesting. Now let me guess, she's blue-blooded too? Huh. I'm surprised she didn't say, It's harder to quit than you expect. <laughs> <sighs> it is simply heavenly. Anyway, time to pay up. Well, it's good to see them all having fun. Enough. I'm using my authority as chief to end this game. And no more gambling. Do you understand you're in con, I ward? Don't give the peacekeepers any reasons to drop in on us. Is that strict? Honesty and sting the hell out of trouble. That's our motto here at Nocturnal Detective Agency. Got it? Uh, well, yeah, it's, bought his, it's his sub, his rules. Wise up, now kids. Then, I'd like to introduce you to our final team member, Yuma Coco Head. A round of applause, please. Woo! He's, uh, he's so average. We love him. Yeah. N nice to meet you all. I was hoping they'd be amazing detectives, but they all look kind of dumb. Yeah, not gonna lie. It's kind of how this this series goes, though. I wonder which one of them will die first. Don't say that. No. Or maybe. We're we're wait him. Hey, knock it off. They managed to get past Amaterasu's attacks. I'm sure they're all amazing. Yuma. Let me introduce everyone to you. First, the one sitting over there is Halara Nightmare, a what? great master detective. The what? first to arrive at Kanai Ward. Their last name is Nightmare. It's my birth name. I don't want to hear about it. I get it all the time. Is that Chiaki's mom, bro? <laughs> the little match boy over there is Desuhiko Thunderbolt. Okay. I kind of like him. Who's the match boy? He's, uh, I don't know, he strikes me as reliable for some reason. He's that reliable height, you know what I mean? Maybe you don't. Right, the beautiful Dorf lady is. next to him is Fubuki Clockford. She is the heiress of the famous Clockford family. And you're out here doing all this dangerous stuff. A pleasure to meet you. Right back at you. I like your piercings, I want to say. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Fabuki's next to Abuki. I don't know. I vibe with it. And the one inside the fireplace. Yeah, who's this guy? What, fireplace? It's a guy, right? But I... Why there of all places? He says it's calming in there. Anyway, his name is Vivia Twilight. Oh my god. Hey, nice to meet you. Fangirls are gonna love this guy. God dang. He's just got that look, bro. Lady killer. Mmm. Maybe let's not use that term. Right. But now that we're all here, yeah, introductions are over. Not a bad gang. Let's I, have a seat. Maybe a smaller cast will be a good thing this time around. You know, just the six of us. I wonder. Uh, yo, <laughs> hate him or love him, he can interior decorate. Sit down, we're right here. Uh, that's cool, but you know, I kind of want to. I want to make some friends. Everyone on the train died besides you? That sucks. Thanks for your very, uh, 
high understanding. Your sympathy is not wasted on me. <laughs> had I been on the Amaterasu Express, I uh, would have solved it before anything had gone down. I take it back. He's a turd. Damn. Missed the chance to show off my superstar self. Yeah, it's a shame. Also, all those people would have lived. You know, that that's also important. This short stack is so arrogant. I hate his guts. Yeah. Maybe he just... I don't know. It's been a long day. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But not you, Shinigami. You're a fiend. All right. Hi there. So you're the survivor from the Amaterasu Express Massacre. You don't look like much. That is so effing mean. I mean, she's right. And I said the same effing thing. But come on. That's thanks to yours, truly. Otherwise, Master would have died right away. I mean... Who knows? I lost my memory, so maybe if I still had them, I could have solved it? God, you're pulling my boy Yuma, bro. I hate this. Anyway, I saved the best for last. You purposely came over to talk to me? You're so kind, Yuma. Uh, thanks, man. Right back at ya. Don't worry. They aren't avoiding me or anything. I, I didn't even- that thought that even crossed my mind. I prefer to be alone. A place like this gives me a sense of peace and quiet. I guess the acoustics are really good in there. <laughs> I think that's also our cue to leave him alone. <sighs> I want to die someday. Well, buddy, if you stay here long enough, that might be easier than you thought. I, I have no idea what to say to him. I'm speechless, truly. Uh... Anyway, you seem approachable, but I'm sure you'll... You also have a freaky side. Yuma, do you like chocolate? Yeah, sometimes. Y yeah, a bit. Did you know that chocolate grows on cacao trees? I did know that. The sight of all those trees with their shining silver fruit must be so splendid. I think the silver part is just the wrapper. <laughs> I was like, wait, what is she talking about? No, they're, they're like brown pods. What? Huh? Does it not grow on the tree like this? No. <laughs> ah, I see. I thought I was peeling back its silvery husk. What the t Is she just dumb? Is that her character? Well, maybe just sheltered. <laughs> what a misunderstanding to make for an adventurer such as myself. I... How did you survive? Adventurer? What it Correct. I am an adventurer and a detective. It is nice to make your acquaintance. Right back at you. Yo, it's a little too early to play favorites, but... Nice to meet you, too. She's She's got some Sonya vibes. But not a disgusting degenerate, so that's nice. I see. There's several books with difficult-sounding titles. I wonder if they're used for research. What? These are pretty serious books for a fuzzhead to be reading. I don't think this hairstyle is related to that in any way. Uh, well, she has hair, Shinigami. Oh, no, she has hair, too. Oh, man. Pepe Sylvia? No way. He's here, too? Hmm? It's a map with memos stuck all over it. Right. Looks like a map of the city. Can't wait to see what the next incident's gonna be. Shut up. I think I can wait. I'd I like, like a minute to relax, or maybe more. Is that too much to ask? Ah. Legit, though, I, I like... Oh, hey, kind of a nice kitchen back here. I like our crew. If anything happens to them, I will be upset. This place... This must be the shower. Wow, to think there's even something like this here. Hey. Given, you know, Yako's smell, I didn't think he'd even have one. Heads up, Master. You too dense to notice, but Buzzhead and the gang are watching you like hawks. What? Why? Oh, yeah, we should head back instead of examining the washroom. <laughs> that is probably pretty weird. Well, it's nice to meet you all. I'm going to go take a shower. Uh, anyway, so, uh, you guys got any grapes? Now, all remaining agents sent to the Nocturnal Detective Agency are here. Uh, there are a lot less of you than what we originally planned. Well, regardless of how many people we would have gotten, we'd still be no match against the Peacekeeper's numbers. So, we'll keep laying low down here, and avoid provoking them, as we've been doing. For how long? Huh? You want to stay submerged in this filthy river? 
I didn't come here to rot like sewage. Yeah, come on, let's let's get some action. We gotta do something. I wanna make a grand entrance. Uh oh, solve all unsolved mysteries. No. Become a superstar detective. Jeez, what is up with you? Oh, and once I'm uh rich and famous. I'll make you all my assistants. Oh my goodness. He's got a heart of gold. Also, nice nose. Check that out. <laughs> In Kanai Ward, solving cases won't make you famous. If anything, you just become a social pariah. All information is controlled by the peacekeepers. They simply conceal anything that's inconvenient to them. If you want to be famous in this town, it's much easier if you're a villain. Don't give him any ideas, Yako. What on earth? I see. Got it. A killing spree it is. <laughs> Wait, don't actually do it. Don't instigate anything with those guys. Got it? <laughs> I'm just kidding around. I don't feel like you are, and I feel like that information just went in your ear and out the other. Why is the WDO gathering master detectives in Kanai Ward? What do they want us to do? Honestly, I don't know what the WDO is thinking either. I just found out about this recently myself. You didn't receive any instructions? Not yet, at least. I'm hoping they'll call us eventually. But there's no reception in the entire city. But before that, there's something I need to verify first. She's like, well, how did Yako even become a master detective if... Yeah, no. Well, I guess the rain only started a couple years ago. Yuma. It's about you. Uh, 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 sorry, I was theory crafting. Huh? Me? What'd I do? I heard the peacekeepers talking and learned about it back then, but... Do you really have amnesia? Huh? T amnesia? That game sucks! Come on, everyone's playing... Uh... FNAF? <laughs> yeah, it seems like I do. I don't remember anything from before getting on the Amaterasu Express. Ah, then you and I are alike. Uh, we are amnesia buddies, Yuma. Really? Oh golly, we have so much in common, Fubuki. Huh? Fubuki, you too? Indeed. I cannot remember what I had for breakfast. What? I cannot even recall how I got here. Oh my god. Uh, I think you're just forgetful. I don't think he's gonna work out. Don't make things even more complicated. <laughs> my apologies. Oh god. What is the source of your amnesia? Is Amaterasu Corporation responsible? No, uh, it doesn't seem likely. I was still at the station when I woke up. Yeah, be careful, Yuma. You can't tell them the actual truth. So you really don't remember anything? Well, I'm surprised you got past Amaterasu's attacks like that. I probably can't tell them it's thanks to the pact I made with the Death God. But still, how did you get her grimoire or whatever to begin with? That's kind of messed up. I mean, maybe that's why amnesia is the price to pay, you know? Dude, so many mysteries. You better not. Talking about me breaks the contract. I think I was just lucky. Chief saved me in the end. Well, you can work off your debt to me. Oh, no. So you really don't know who you are? In other words, you don't remember if you're a detective? Oh, crap. Maybe just fib this, Yuma? We're starting to seem a little suspicious. That's correct. Oh, God, he can't lie to save his life. Oh, but I do have a letter from the WDO. Oh, thank God. Yeah. And this outfit is definitely mine because it fits perfectly. Homie, he's learning. Let's go. Self-preservation. I don't doubt you. That's not what I'm worried about. I've already verified your identity. Cool. Huh? You know who I am? I didn't just daydream in the park and feed pigeons while y'all were heading here. <laughs> I checked the routes everyone used and provided support wherever I could. Unfortunately, most of the info was kept secret, so supporting you was all I could do. Well, it's good to see he was, you know, staying busy. He's pretty competent, I think. At the very least, I did manage to obtain info about the Amaterasu Express. Then again, it was mostly thanks to Halara and Desuhiko since they arrived so early. Uh oh. Well. I got the passenger list from Amaterasu Corporation using my special forte. Which is? That ability is top secret, so uh, I'm not going to tell you about it just yet. 
It probably has something to do with the internet, if I had to guess. Given his name is Thunderbolt, could be. Your name was on the passenger list, Yuma. Oh my gosh. Well, okay. That's all cleared up. Once we knew your name, obtaining more information was easy. I researched the histories of everyone on the list. So you can actually tell us who we are. This doesn't sound like something you need to hear. Uh, no, I want to... <sighs> Dude, is Shinigami actually on our side? I get the vibe that she... <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't think this is a true partnership. What? Of course it is! I might finally get to learn about my past! Mm. Mm -mm. So... Who am I? If you don't mind. The truth might surprise you, but... Huh? Among the master detectives registered at the WDO, no individual with the name Yuma Cocohead exists. What does that mean? What? What do you mean? Dude! Five master detectives were summoned to the Amaterasu Express. That is an undisputable fact. But a detective in training was also summoned. Bro, we're a greenhorn? You're messing with me. Detective in training? Man, I thought he was gonna be some... Ah, uh, yes, I'm an 800-year-old master detective who reincarnated into a 16-year-old boy so I could... <laughs> I'll say less, but I, hey, at least they're not going down that route. That's you, Yuma. You. You're not even a real one. You're... You're, you're a new. You're a scrub. Deal with it, dude. Looks like you've been working toward being a detective at the WDO. You may be part of the organization, but you haven't earned your stripes just yet. Okay. Wait, that means they sent, like, someone who wasn't, you know, fully qualified? So, I'm not really a master detective yet? <laughs> that sounds about right. You never fail to amuse me, master. Thanks, I really try. Despite that, I know for sure you'll be an integral part of our team. <laughs> I gotta stop being so mean to her, but this is genuine. She's like, she just gets under your skin like a sibling. Uh, I don't like that. I reviewed your profile in the WDO records, and it turns out you have a phenomenal ability. Hmm? Oh, do tell. An ability? So I do have some sort of special power, too? Your record claims that you're a great cook. <laughs> Would you mind making us breakfast what? from now on? Shut up. That can't be the truth. Your leg is made. That's not true. I, I am not. I don't know if I can. I don't have any memories about cooking. So we're a total loser. I mean, cooking's important, but like, you know. Never mind. Did my profile mention anything else? <sighs> can I see the profile? I feel like I'm in Gaslit again. I just Like where I used to live or my personal history? It didn't have any details of the sort. You see, you've got a trainee's profile, not a proper master detective's. Oh, how convenient. I see. That is rather frustrating. You know, trainees are kind of like appetizers at a restaurant, don't you think? Yeah, short, condensed meals that uh, you forget about when the main course gets here. <laughs> I guess that makes you the appetizer detective! Is that even a joke? Mm. I really wish you weren't here right now. Don't worry. I'll do my best to train you from the ground up to be a great detective. Okay. At least she's trying to help. What's wrong? There's nothing to feel ashamed about. Everyone starts off as a trainee. I guess that's true, but come on, no special powers at all? Other than the ability to see other fortes, I guess. Also, not everyone can use their forte from the get-go. But the fact that, yeah, we were at the WDO means there is some latent power there. We just don't know what it is. Though some are born rather gifted. Still, no matter how much talent you have, you require the right training to make the most use of your abilities. No matter how smart they are or how dexterous their fingers, no surgeon dives straight into surgery. The same goes for master detectives. If you want to do things the right way, you have to learn it. So, everyone here also trains at the World Detective Organization? So we're almost like classmates when you think about it. Oh, dang. The WDO requires a two-year training period for all agents. 
No exceptions. That seems kind of low. I, I mean, I'm not going to question it, but... During that time, the agent's paranormal disposition is honed into a forensic forte, specializing in investigation. And those who manage to develop their forte are certified as master detectives. Like me. Plus, once you become a master detective, you get a detective deed from the WDO. By the way, not all detectives working for the WDO are master detectives. What does that even mean? There are regular detectives, like myself, who don't have fortes. Oh, yeah, I was just about to ask. Well, I guess that's why he, or how he got his license, Juan Kanai. Oh, really? I still got my detective deed. It doesn't say master detective on it, but it still holds the same weight. Dang. And here I thought he was going to have something crazy. A forte mostly depends on innate talent. Some people will never develop it, no matter how much effort they put in. Oh, well, isn't that depressing? But that doesn't mean they can't be a detective. Anyone can get a detective deed as long as they complete their training. So, is that my case as well? I don't think I have any special abilities. There is no record about your forte. You could be like me and have no special powers. I knew it. What a bummer. But, I mean, until it's been confirmed, you know. It's kind of like Pandora's box. No, it's like that guy and his pet. It was... You know, these types of games always talk about it. Either you have a power or you don't until you discover it. But what was that called? It's like a famous theory. Oh yeah, Pavlov's dog! That's it! Who cares about that? What? You've got me, master! Well, you're not a dog! Well... Look, there's no need to be say so less. down about having no forte of your own. That has nothing to do with whether you're a good detective or not. Even a kid or a delinquent can be a master detective if they're good at one thing. But detectives with no special abilities must pass basic testing with flying colors before they're certified. So yeah, I guess we are like pretty capable. We just forgot all of our testing and all of our talents and all of our, you know, skills and everything we learned. So, in fact, you could say those without special abilities make uh, better detectives. Yo, he's coping hard, bro. <laughs> oh, you're just tooting your own horn, old man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're better than us, sure. Whatever, whatever helps you sleep at night. But being both a capable detective and a master detective would be even better. Ooh. Hilarious got you beat. Such as myself. She does seem the most capable in the room. You're tuning your own horn too! I mean, if she's got the skills to back it up. Anyway, whether you have an ability or not, the fact remains that you've been striving to be a detective. So, I wanted to be a detective. Also, keep in mind that despite being a trainee, you were given a directive. That's pretty impressive. What does that even mean? You <laughs> must be quite capable. Okay. I mean, master detectives were killed, but you managed to survive. Yeah, by cheating death, basically. I'm not sure if that's right. The only reason we actually survived is because we were such a, like a wimp baby, bro. I am sure you shall eventually remember all that you have forgotten, Yuma. Although, I still do not remember what I ate this morning, let alone yesterday's weather. That does not inspire me with any confidence at all, Why, Fabuki. You just gotta... You know. <laughs> Come on. It was raining. It's always raining. <laughs> please, please remember that that is the case. How can you not remember oh, that? Right. <laughs> so forgetful. Whoopsie daisy. Is she this dumb on purpose? I think she's putting on a act. I think you're just jealous. Maybe she's a giant skink. What? It's boom kill time if you fall for her, master. Whatever. What if she falls for me, huh? Then what are you gonna do? I didn't do anything. Wait, don't kill her. Can you kill people? Like, oh my god. By the way, my agency treats both trainees and detectives as the same thing. To all you master detectives, you better not drop your guard or the rookie here is gonna steal your thunder. Got it? <laughs> Go ahead and try. <laughs> oh, I'll try. Too bad for you, rookie. I'm gonna take all the medals. 
Dude, I think you're gonna get yourself killed. I have no desire to compete. <laughs> you senior detectives sure are a handful. Vivia, anything you'd like to say to the newbie? Hmm. He passed out. Hi then. No. Not oh. really. Okay, that's fine. Homie's last name is Twilight, bro. <laughs> a call? That is a weird phone. That's the direct line to the World Detective Organization. So, they're finally contacting us. Hopefully they got good news. All communication in Kanai Ward is shut out from the outside world. Hey, are you gonna get so that? that? Like, is rather special. I, I know you're explaining and everything, but... And, obviously, it's kept secret from the Amaterasu folk. So... Do you want us to answer it? Nah! Nah, it's fine. I like the sound of the ringing. Ugh. If they're contacting us, maybe they'll finally give us our orders. Go ahead, rookie. Huh? You want me to answer? Yeah, I don't want to get up. Go for it. <laughs> okay, seriously. <laughs> Just answer it already. Um, hello, Nocturnal Detective Agency. What? Please state your business. What is up with you? Good work, all of you. I assume everyone is present. Goddamn, boys, got more wrinkles than a raisin. So few of you survived. Far less than I anticipated, but considering who survived, this should suffice. What? What the hell? Who's this grandpa? He acts like he's hot shit. Dude, isn't this your boss? What beats me? I've never seen him before. My contact is usually someone totally different. What is going on then? Perhaps he dialed the wrong number? <laughs> also, does he see the guy underneath him? Uh... No. Uh, that's impossible. This is a direct line to the WDO. Um, who are you? Would you mind telling us your name? A name? Uh, nice glasses. Where'd they come from? Unfortunately, I discarded my name long ago. Wait, so you're the man who discarded his name? Whoa. Now, I simply go by number one. I'm sure you've heard of me. He's Nigel Uno? You're kidding. Also, he has a little, like, heart tattoo, like, on his neck. Like, I get, I guess he was, like, a playboy or something. If I got that, too, I'd also discard my name. My family would be embarrassed, but... Anyway. What's up? <laughs> He's so goofy looking. <laughs> I insult everybody, but God, they, uh, they just have a distinct look in this game. Yo, Thunderbolt. Number one? You know him? You're joking! Seriously? I guess he's a big deal. Uh, my sincerest <laughs> apologies for my rude behavior. <laughs> what? I didn't expect number one himself to appear. This must be very serious business then. What's happening in Kanai that's so dangerous? Is he a big deal or something? Number one is the top master detective. Leader of the World Detective Organization. The top detective of the WDO? He rarely ever shows himself. Thus, no one knows his true identity. He is only known among detectives as number one. Whoa. I feel the... I feel the gravity of this situation. Also, the theme doesn't hurt. Sounds like such a big deal. He's the top? Of the World Detective Organization? Even with all those piercings? Wow. It's just some old man. Hey! What is your deal with hating old people? Old people are cool! They're awesome! They're full of wisdom and experience! I am here to give those of you who arrived your instructions. There is a dangerous secret lurking here, which we refer to as Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? However, Kanai Ward's ultimate secret isn't a problem affecting only this city. There is a chance it relates to the ongoing great global mystery. What the heck is this? Hence why I chose to deliver your orders directly. Move swiftly to investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Doing so will assist us in solving the great global mystery. What are these things you're talking about? This is so odd. That is all. So it's this important of a mission? 
And homie, I'm like from like my, you was from the fifth grade. Huh? That's it. How about some clues? What's the ultimate mystery? Why do you think you're there? Uh -uh. If you're a detective, search for clues yourself. Besides, I'm retired. You want me to do everything? You punk kid, you. Providing any information beforehand will merely result in misconceptions. Oh, true. I guess it is good to come in with a clear mind. No, that's stupid. Yeah, yeah, understood. I'm not gonna argue number one, though. Do you recall the World Detective Organization's creed? A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Dang, that sounds hard to do. I heard that every single day during training. But it's not something you can easily put into practice. I don't know if you should say that to the boss, boss. Is that true, Master? I don't remember at all. Mysteries are the greatest threat to humanity. The WDO will not allow mysteries to go unsolved. They shall be eradicated with sagacious wit and indomitable will. Yo, I'm ready. Pull me in, coach. Just point me in the right direction. We must guide the lost souls of victims to paradise in the name of truth. Hey, yo, hold up. What? Now we sound like a cult. Go forth, proud detectives. Uh, uh, Eliminate all mysteries from this world. You got it, boss. But sometimes mysteries can be good, like what my IP address is. That I, That's okay to keep a mystery. I whatever. Gang. <sighs> gang, gang. All right, let's do this. Like, come on. I, I'm feeling pumped up. Let's go. Hey, did you hear that? We got a direct order from number one. We play our cards right. We're guaranteed to get promoted. <laughs> no. I'm hyped. What was that? What was that? <laughs> it isn't so simple. Just look at how much we sacrificed to get you here. Yeah, like how many people are dead? Twenty, and that's like on the low side. Kanai Ward's ultimate secret must have something to do with Amaterasu Corporation, which means we have to snoop on them. They're gonna wipe us out! Oh my god, Yako, chill. It's not impossible. Let's just use our heads. So, it's a full-on war then. Hmm. The WDO is serious. War is awful! <laughs> I myself am a pacifist! Uh, well, you know, when it comes down to it, you might have to change your ways! Well, it's something we have to do from here on! There you go again with your jokes! What? No, he, he's Fubuki, serious. Fubuki, were you listening? I'm sure I was, but I simply just forgot. Huh? I was. However, I was also lost in my own thoughts. Okay, it's not verbatim what I just said. You weren't listening then! <laughs> so, Chief, any ideas about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Dude, if, you th if I knew that, do you think I'd still be here? No! I don't even leave this sub! Today was the only day I've done that in months. This place has so many secrets that I have no idea where to start. But one thing that comes to mind is this unending rain, I think. Mm. If it's a weather machine of some kind, then yeah, that would be a global catastrophe. He said that it has something to do with the great global mystery, too. I have no clue what that is. Well, for now, let's sneak into Amaterasu Corp and start gathering up info. <laughs> You make it sound so easy. Don't you dare do anything dangerous like that. It's not like they're leaving secrets in easy to reach spots. Well, then what are we supposed to do? You really want to know? The right thing to do is absolutely nothing. Yako, no! Come on! Jeez. <laughs> How did it end up like this? I feel so bad for him. No, Yako is. He's just a guy. I'm just a guy. I relate. Oh, come on. You need to snap out of it, Chief. I've got a bad feeling about all this. Who would have guessed number one would show up? Ah! All I wanted was to sink quietly <laughs> into the river. I'm sorry, man. I guess us coming here kind of ruined his life. Are things really that bad? Yeah. Lives are at stake here. Danger is a daily occurrence in all of Kanai Ward. 
I'm used to wagering my life like poker chips. It feels like my path. Uh, she is too cool. I... I fear she's going to be the first one to lose it. Uh. Maybe for you, but I'm not that way. Who said I wanted that? I got it. Let's pretend like we didn't uh, hear a thing. Okay, no, you know what? Let's let's have that be his canon. You know, he just gives us a place to chill. And the rest of us, you know, get sleuthing. That's fine, right? No, I know that's oh. impossible. <laughs> Given the sacrifices that were already made, the WDO can't back down now. Uh. I guess we have no choice. Yeah, I just gotta bite the bullet, man. How hard could it be? Chief Yako. Everything that goes down in the city is handled by the peacekeepers of Amaterasu Corporation. They simply fabricate or cover things up in whatever way's most convenient for them. In other words, the truth they're hiding may be connected to Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Yeah, if they're this aggro, they, ha they must have a reason for it. Some of these cover-ups may be clues for unsolved mysteries, then. But there are tons of cases where they covered up the truth. Then what we need to do is clear! Uh-huh. Don't stare at me, dumbfounded rookie. We've gotta crush each unsolved mystery one by one! There's billions, though. We do not have that- Okay, billions is a big effing number. But there's a lot! What? All of them?! That's one way to solve whatever's going on. Oh, fine. All right, listen up. Truth be told, I wish this day had never come. <laughs> yeah, tell. But part of me knew that it was inevitable. Our goal now is to expose Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. We'll be up against Amaterasu Corporation. So please, be extremely careful. We don't know what these guys will do to interfere with us. That said, you all survived the deadly trip to get here, so I'm sure you're up to the challenge. We've been trapped in this rain for a long time now, but it's time to put an end to that. Yeah, let's go, man. This is the hand we're dealt. Let's just do what we can, you know? Watch our back. Please, help me save this city. I got you, Yako. Let's do it! You I'm fired up. Master. Interesting. For real! <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the end? No! Come on! Okay, so our little gang, our little crew. In the unending rain. I love them. But I fear anything the will happen to them. Neon cityscape. Draped in my <sighs> raincoat, I roam in search of my missing memories. What secrets lurk in this labyrinth oh of drainage pipes? Oh no. Who's that? Oh. Also, we that. have yet to find the answer. Oh my gosh, who are they? Also, the king, King Mickey. The Where story of detectives facing the darkness that enshrouds the truth. That's just straight up a Yokai Watch character, bro. What? Is about to begin. I'm ready for it. Oh, wait, are those zombies? Dude, this is nuts! That is an amazing prologue. Oh man, I'm, fe I'm ready to go! Listen. Ooh! I've been listening to this song for months! And now we get to hear the full thing. Let's go! God. So far, the game's looking up too, man. She didn't got me. Like, she barely said anything in this freaking chapter, yo. I'm. Oh, man. All the voice actors. All the characters. Oh, man. So it's like legit. Like, no more jokes. This, this is our crew. Hey, there she is. Xanthi win. Wait, Alex? That was him? I didn't even notice. Here's the go. Kaiji Tang, baby. Oh, my God. I'm just like as giddy as could be, dude. What's around the next corner? <laughs> oh my gosh. And from the sounds of things, yeah, there's a lot of characters we, you know, we're not introduced to, but I am slightly bummed there's gonna be most likely no other master. I knew it! Effing robots! Nobody believe me! That's hard confirmation, bro. It's either us or them. Terminator 2 taught me the. Okay. I'm just keeping it hardcore. 
But let's just get to the next mystery, man. I'm ready to go. Put me on the beat, coach. I guess chief in this situation. Oh, gosh. Who is that? Oh. Oh, don't spoil me. No. I mean, we don't know who they are, but... I guess, yeah, that's Amaterasu faction. Dude, do not kiss him. Call me a Puritan, but... <laughs> freaking Jesus. <laughs> Ew. But no, legit. Despite the fan service, despite the wacky antics inside the mystery labyrinth, Kanai Ward, man. I can't wait to see what our first case is.